Hey, so I just wanted to do a quick journal walkthrough. Um, I've been using the Baron Fig Metamorphosis since September 11th, and then I finished um, the start of January, I think. I really like this notebook. The page quality is amazing. The cloth cover is not my favorite because as you can see, it gets super stained. Um, so that's something to consider. I'm pretty sure they sell covers for them now. The other thing is, is this is one of my more chunky books and I really miss, I miss having the elastics, which this doesn't have. And I never thought that would be a huge deal until I didn't have it. So we'll do a quick flip through. So I made a little cover page. And then as per usual, it's walls of text. This was my first grid notebook and I really enjoyed that. Um, I worked through the life-changing magic of not giving a fuck, which was also cool. And then the other thing that I did was add these little tabs. Those are from Baron Fig. Nope, they're not from Baron Fig. They're from American Crafts. Um, they're not my favorite, like I love the idea of tabs, but these just weren't sticky enough, so I would have to go back and uh, use glue to stick them in. Added some birthday cards. So much text. And then I started using the Ahab Flex, which was my first Flex nib. It was, mm, the Flex had a weird smell, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I did really like what I could do with it. So I would probably invest in another pen. Um, this is also the Montverde Emerald Green ink, which I enjoyed. And then I had a burp, and what I mean by paper quality is you can hardly see it on the other side. And that was really nice. I then switched to, this was a pen that I had found that had been hanging around my house for years. I also started my tracker. I figure I should maybe give some aspects of bullet journaling a go. Um, I'm not, I'm not as organized, I guess, as a bullet journalist should be or something, or I just feel like I don't have too much stuff to write about that I would have to use daily spreads, but it was nice to kind of add some of that stuff. And then just some puffy stickers. So by the time I added all of these puffy stickers, it was basically impossible to close this thing. But they're pretty. And I like it. And I've been trying to use up some of my... I can't see them. Some of my little tags and stuff that I have from previous scrapbook kits. So I started adding them here, trying to get a little bit more creative. I've got another TV tracker and one of these flagged, uh, flagged paper clips. Then like a cleaning thing I never really got around to. There's hope, maybe. And then a Christmas card from a friend that says live your truth but really Immaculate Conception, which is my favorite thing ever. But yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to break away from the walls of text, but it doesn't always work. Here's my son drawing a magic door. And then this was the Pilot Varsity, which I did not like. And then, ta-da, the end. So yeah, it came together really nicely. Um, like I said, I've been playing a lot more with doing more than just walls of text. I really do love this notebook though, and I think I will probably buy something else from their collection. They do a quarterly release, a monthly release, I'm not quite sure, but they release new collections a few times in the year, and they're just, they're fun. And like I said, this paper, is thebomb.com um but don't quote me on that because i don't want the internet to know i said that anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you soon